The Chipola baseball program is in mourning this week after suffering the loss of one of its own. It's the second time in head coach Jeff Johnson's 27 years in Mariana that one of his players has lost their life, bringing back emotions he never hoped to experience again. He's one of your one of your kids, and I call them my kids because they are. You know, it, it hurts you. On Friday, Evan Ames, who concluded his sophomore baseball season at Chipola College this spring, was found dead in his own bedroom in Fort Myers from a cause not declared by his family. As a coach, that's what you pride yourself in. You know, you, you got 25 to 30 sons every year. And, you know, when you lose one of them, it takes part of your heart out as well. And, and he, Evan was just a great, great young man. He was a, he represented our school very well. In one season with Chipola, Ames was injured in the fall, limiting his expected production during the spring season, but he still signed Division I with Georgia State. Coach Johnson says there's a chance he might have been taken this week in the MLB draft. He was getting, some, he was getting a little attention from a couple of the pro teams as well. And, uh, you know, the draft started last night. I don't know if that would have worked out for him as well, but that was his lifelong dream. While Ames only spent one year wearing an Indians jersey, Coach Johnson says he left a lasting impression on the program that will not be forgotten. He always had a smile on his face. He was a good, a good young man. Um, very respectful thing you remember um, the most about him sitting here in my office looking out the right field hit a lot of balls on that building over there in batting practice but you know just being a, a great kid and and uh, a stand-up individual and doing things the right way coach johnson says he appreciates all the thoughts and prayers being sent to evan's family during this time evan ames was 20 years old